I don't want to do this anymore. something called hyperemesis gravidarum. It's not morning sickness. It's debilitating nausea and vomiting that interferes with your daily living. You can't keep any food or fluids down. You need constant medication and medical care to survive your own pregnancy. I go through days where I don't want to do this anymore. And we wanted this baby more than anything in the whole world. I've lost 20 pounds and I am only three months pregnant. My kids don't deserve this and my husband doesn't deserve this. I am not the person that I should be. I'm using a Snapchat filter right now because of how crappy I look from this horrid condition. Welcome to HG. How insane is it that none of these work? I just got out of the hospital and I feel like I'm truly going to die before I meet this baby. My makeup is smudged from throwing up so much. The medications aren't working and a nurse is going to come to the house tomorrow and hook me up to an IV and start my home health care. I'm going to be getting something called a Zofran pump which is a catheter that stays in your body kind of like an IV and pumps continuous medication into your body and if this doesn't work I don't know what I'm going to do Such a good dog staying by my side the whole time, huh, Millie? You're such a good girl. We are all hooked up. It's more like. Hey, sweetheart. All right, so this is the little, this is the needle that's in there. And then that attaches to this, which gives me medicine. And then this, attach to those. You got your saline and your multivitamin. Yeah, that's... When cool. that one's done, you do that one. Yeah, and then we have to do continuous saline, too. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be a pain. Hopefully I can have some Chipotle now. Yeah, hopefully. How is Keep that your fingers way? crossed. So I feel like I'm stuck to the chair. I am on um, IV fluids for five days a week or something, four days a week. And I have the pump. Zofran pump that's continuous and it's right here and it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would going in I'm definitely gonna do it faster next time you have to change it once a day and um, I did it like really slow and hi. it hurt Say hi. Hi. but for the first time I have some hope that I'm going to get some relief and be able to eat something for this baby. 
because I'm so done with throwing up. I'd rather be stuck with all these needles and hooked up to all these tubes and IVs and medicines if it means this baby getting food and nutrients and me being able to function like a proper human being. I can go out with the pump. It has like a little bag that I can go out with and I hope it works because if it doesn't work then we have to do a pick line which can be really dangerous and if that doesn't work then I have to do a feeding tube and that's my last option and I, I'll probably have to be hospitalized at that point um so thank you for watching this far I'm going to try and eat my first meal and hopefully I keep it down for the first time in weeks um and I'll let you guys know what happens. We'll update you as the pregnancy progresses. Um, but for anybody suffering with this disease, just know that you are a superwoman and your babies are gonna know how loved they are because of what you went through to bring them into this world. I think I'm going to cry eating this pizza. It's so good. I hope I don't throw it up. And my Chipotle. So, it's been about an hour since I ate and I've kept it down. This is the longest I have kept um, food down in weeks. So, I pray it stays down. I pray. Oh, yeah? Oh yeah? Yeah. What else? Um True. True? Yeah. You like that show? Yeah. I'm a survivor. My baby is a survivor. And we're going to make it through this. No matter how upset I get, how much I cry because I can't take it anymore. We are all gonna get through this. Wave, say bye.